Bleeding management near the patient is ideally required. Thromboelastometry is a diagnostic tool for point-of-care coagulation monitoring in several surgical sectors. It helps the theater team to simplify the distinction between a surgical bleeding and coagulopathy. The following presentation will provide a foundation for the principles, basic interpretation and clinical application of the thromboelastometry. We have been using thromboelastometry from 2006. And this presentation is also aimed to transmit some of the data from our experience along this time. In 1948, Helmut Hartel described the principle of thromboelastometry and it has been adopted in a computerized version for the TEG apparatus. At the beginning of the 90s, a Munich medical student developed the principle of rotation thromboelastography, also called ROTEM. Because ROTEM and TEG use different reagents, he should be aware don't extrapolate results between both of them. From now on, we will refer to the ROTEM. ROTEM discriminates between surgical bleeding and hemostasis disorder. It detects hyperfunctional stages of the clothing process and can be used as a guide for blood product transfusion. ROTEM is the gold standard for the diagnosis of hyperfibrin lysis. It can be used in the operating room and the results are available within 10 minutes. Partial thromboplastin phospholipid and allergic ACEs to assess the coagulation process via the intrinsic pathway is called INTEM and recombinant tissue factor to assess the coagulation process via the extrinsic pathway, it's called EXTEM. This analysis can be done without platelets to qualitative assessment of the fibrinogen status, it's called FIBTEM. ROTEM analysis can be done with heparinase to assessment of the clot formation in a heparinases patient, HEPTEM, when compared to the INTEM. Rotem analysis can be done with the aprotinin to detect the lysis when compared to XTEM.